from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We are together again on the radio. We've got a very busy day today. We've got a very busy day. We need all hands on deck. All hands on deck. We have lots of stuff we got to do. Lots of stuff we got to do. Let me make sure everybody is working today because it's not one of those days somebody can, you know, sneak out of here for half an hour. I need everybody present. Art, are you present and accounted for? I'm here. Working? Yes, sir. Very important. I'm to the nose to the grindstone. All right. Gary Zabransky? I'm kind of here. Step it up. All right. Big day today. Working on a hangover. Big day today. Get some hair of the dog into you. Come on, step All it up. Right. Crack open. Little bottle there. D&J D'Amelio? Check, sir. You can't Dean have his own microphone? Why does he got to take my microphone? Go, go, I'll calm go. down. I don't want to use your microphone anyway. I'm here, sir. All right. Yeah, are you working? <laughs> yes, sir. I need you to bust your ass today. No problem. This is important. What's going on? It's just a big day. It's a big day. In fact, here's here's what a big day it is. Uh, we've been working, um, a, as you know, uh, our flagship station here, 97.1 KLSX. Uh, they, they are very much into the HD radio concept, and part of HD radio is that there are secondary, and as we say in the business, tertiary channels. So uh, one of the benefits of spending $450 on a new table radio to pick up HD is not only do you get the compelling programming of HD radio, but you get a variety of other channels <laughs> that people are uh, not hearing. Uh, we've played you uh, some of the content because uh, HD radio is indeed, when you look at what's on the radio today, this is the most exciting area of radio programming there is. Now, uh, we've all heard uh, our uh, HD2 channel is uh, replete with, uh, and, and by the way, great way to test out your stereo system. It's replete with uh, uh, ping pong tournaments, uh, microphones set up on freeways where trucks are driving by at 80 miles an hour, uh, and uh, other uh, the various, uh, you know, going back to the old school days of, of hi-fi records where you would test out your hi-fi stereo system. Uh, we have that, but uh, most importantly now, our HD3 channel, uh, we are uh, actually giving you a look behind the scenes. And, uh, of course, that's why I want all these guys on deck today, because the HD3 channel uh, is in full force. Uh, now, there is another member of our crew we don't get to talk to very often, and that is because he is always working. You hear him all the time. He works on... Uh, deal or no deal on television. He does uh, various uh, promos for uh, both Fox and NBC, and you hear him on various award shows. His name is Joe Cipriano. And uh, Joe uh, cannot be sitting here with us yammering away because uh, he is constantly, and when I say constantly, uh, he is right now working on our HD3 channel. And he is preparing... Uh, for all of the exciting content we're going to have on the HD3 channel. So uh, he cannot – we don't need to do roll call with Joe because all we have to do is throw the pot up, and you will hear Joe. He's working away right now in his in his control room there. Let's 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 listen in on what Joe is doing. He's working right Tom now. Tom Likes. Tom Likes. Mm -hmm. Tom Likes. Yeah. Tom Likes. Tom Likes. Yeah. 1-800-5800-TOM. 
One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is all one eight hundred five eight hundred. He doesn't know we're listening in on 1-800-5-800-866. right now. He literally is going on like this all day. Tom Likis. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's one eight hundred. Now, by the way, we pay him. We pay him. I believe we pay the him by Tom the hour. Tom Likis show. And, and like it, his job like is to be is. ready when we need him. Five eight hundred Tom. He's here when we get here in the morning. He's already Tom. doing this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and we've got pages and pages of material that we have to have him run through. Sometimes we need a variety of takes. Tom Likis. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's just going on all day. Tom Likis. Tom Likis. Tom Likis. It's Gary Zabransky's job Tom to supply Likis. him with new copy. And as you hear, Likis. One eight hundred. We've got a lot of variety Tom. here. Slightly different inflection on each one. Tom. Each one. Yeah. One oh, eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Sped it up there a little bit. Yeah. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. That is very good. Tom Likis. One eight hundred five eight hundred. All right. We'll check in again on Joe later on. But uh, that's. Uh, in, uh, in, by the way, you go to our HD three channel. And uh, you can hear Joe Cipriano at work uh, preparing for our next recording session. He's uh, This is kind of a rehearsal session for him right now. He's uh, ramping up to actually uh, do a recording session. It's good stuff. Everybody working hard today. Excellent. Okay. Now that I know every, all hands are on deck, everybody is working hard today. Let's get to uh, what I want to talk about What's this your hour. Topic tonight, anyway? uh, hang on, baby. I'm getting to it here. Now, I'm wondering uh, if this is you. Okay, I'm going to read a story from a Phoenix website. I'm going to find out if this is you. All right, let's see if this is you. As the economy continues to sour, says the story, it seems some marriages do as well. Phoenix divorce attorney Robert Schwartz doesn't have any concrete proof, but he believes his spike in business is related to the economy. Schwartz, who has practiced law in Phoenix for 36 years, says, quote, in the last four or five months, we've gotten more phone calls in this office than we've ever gotten in the past from people looking for advice on divorce. And I think it really has something to do with the economy. He says, one of the major issues that I heard from people about is finances. Everybody fights about money no matter what level they're at. People who have too much fight about spending it on nonsense. People who can't afford their bills fight about the fact that they can't afford their bills. We're in a very tough time. Schwartz said the end of the local housing boom could be a factor. He said that people in Phoenix over the last five years were living on the equity in their houses. That's not just Phoenix. That's just about everywhere. He said a lot of people were taking advantage of cheap money, lines of credit. Banks were making it very, very easy to borrow against the equity in your house. He added, people are calling and they're coming here because they don't think they have a way out. It's sad. And to me, it's a last resort. I don't think people should take this step lightly. I don't want to sound like a philosopher, but we live in a society that wants instant gratification for everything. Everyone is looking for instant solutions. I think they need to sit down. They need to work on their problems. They need to communicate. And if that's not possible, then obviously maybe they need to see a divorce attorney. Says here, while Schwartz urges people to do everything they can to save their marriages, he says, sometimes it's just too late. Now, all kidding aside, to be totally serious here, you've got to believe with the number of people being foreclosed upon, the number of people falling behind on their mortgage payments, the number of people falling behind on their car payments, the number of people falling behind on their credit card bills, you've got to believe that's going to cause families to split. I mean, if you've just lost your home, if you were ever going to think of splitting with somebody, might that not be the time? I mean, most people think of their house as their biggest investment. Many people stay in marriages because they're afraid they'd have, they they would not have a place to live or they'd have to sell their home. Uh, they might lose some of the equity in their home or whatever to the other person. Uh, if you've been foreclosed upon, I have to imagine that uh, solves that problem, doesn't it? 
So I'm wondering what the economy has done to your relationship. I mean, the economy is lousy. Everybody knows the economy is lousy. It started with gasoline prices, and then it went on to the price of uh, anything related to corn because of ethanol. So beef because it's fed corn and other meats. Cheese because it's a byproduct of milk. And milk has to do with uh, uh, with uh, cows, and cows have to do with corn. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of different kinds of produce uh, now are affected. Uh, tomatoes. You looked at the price of tomatoes lately at the supermarket? Outrageous. Plenty of people just broke. And, and by the way, Starbust is, is Starbucks. Starbust. Good headline for the uh, business section. Starbust. Starbucks is cratering. I mean, people are are running from Starbucks in droves because a five dollar cup of coffee is just not on most people's uh, menu anymore. It's going away. Dean now, by the way, is obsessed with McDonald's coffee. He's going in every day now, every day for coffee. Who would have thought that about McDonald's twenty years ago? People would go in there for coffee and like want that coffee. It's really improved, and Consumer Report said it's the best there is. Dean's going in every day. What is it at McDonald's? A buck? It's like a buck, right? It's a buck fifty for the biggest. Wow. Good deal. So I'm wondering if the economy has affected your relationship. You don't have to be married. I'm just wondering what the economy... The lousy, stinking economy that's in a recession no matter what the president says. What is this lousy economy doing to your relationship or to your marriage? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. In the industry I'm working in, I've been in it two years. I've already been promoted to the top of the level of where I can be after two years because I put that hard work in and I didn't pay for everything. You know what I mean? I did it the way, the Tom Likas way, the man way. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like his. 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 One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. He's gonna be pissed that we're listening in on him like this. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Jesus. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. How does he do this? Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Wow. That's one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. Right. Likas. Oh, I can Likas. take it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. I don't know how he does it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Joe Brown. Cipriano working hard. You can hear him live working in the studio on our HD three channel. By the way. That's uh, going to be our HD3. It's going to be uh, behind the scenes at the station. And that's uh, Joe Cipriano right now rehearsing. All right, how has the economy affected uh, your relationship, your marriage, whatever? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Doing great. Hey, uh, first off, I just wanted to say uh, I wish there was a radio station that just played you because I would listen to it all the time, and even if it was reruns. But, How about uh, a radio station that is nothing but uh, somebody reading a script that says my name over and over like that? Yeah, that'd be great. Because uh, there, there is one right now. 800 tom Tom Likas. Tom Likas. Tom Likas. He does different tom takes. Likes. Different Tom inflections. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's amazing. Five eight hundred Tom. So when we, you can't hear our show, you could just hear rehearsal going on there. But uh, you uh, take me out with a a bong rip and a John Ritter. Have you forgotten what you called about? Yes, <laughs> because I'm high. <laughs> I'm not taking you out with a John Ritter. I'm not. 
Uh, to be taken out, you first have to have something to contribute to the show. We're not taking anybody out who's high. You lied to get through the screener. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Tracy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Father. Hi, dear. Hey, listen. Um, first off, I just want to say I have four teenage boys, and I make them listen to you every day religiously, and they are following your guidelines. So thank you. I love that. Yes, and and it's awesome. But let me tell you, my husband and I got in a huge argument yesterday because I was overdrawn in my checkbook, and I'm not spending any buying anything more than I normally do. But because the prices are so much higher, I, I ended up being overdrawn, and he, you know, was was telling me like, you know. I can't believe you, you're you not checking your registry. And I'm like, but I'm not spending anything more. But well, wait a minute. You are spending more. I'm spending more, but I'm not buying more. Yeah, but did, how can you? <laughs> See, now, if I were with you, you and I would be having the same fight. Because how, how can you not know how much is in your checking account? Uh, be, well, <laughs> because I, I forgot to order checks and I had to get temporary checks and I forgot to put those checks in my registry. Why couldn't you just put like a piece of paper in there to keep a record of how much you've spent? Because I forgot. <laughs> uh, why when you're at with the next time to write a check, why couldn't you say to the guy at the register, excuse me, do you have a piece of paper and put it in there? I know, but I have the duplicate checks so I can see what I'm doing and I when I add up my checkbook. But still, well, I when mean, you run out of them, you got to do something. Because here's the deal, Donnie. You know, they okay. charge you at the bank like 40 bucks for every bounced check. $34 to be exact. Depends on your bank. Yep. So, I mean, can you really be that lazy when, when it's $34 for every mistake you make? No, I'm not that lazy. It's just that I had forgotten to add one check for $545 into uh, my register. That's a big check. I, okay. <laughs> I'm normally not like that. I really get on top of my books and everything. But we got in a huge argument yesterday, and he was, like, saying, I'm Oops. In the, Oops, sorry. You messed up in the checkbook, and, you know, I... Uh, you seem to do this, you know, several times, you know, and um, we got in a huge fight, and he was, like, almost ready to leave me because of it, you know? And it's, like, it's crazy. Wow. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not a bad person. <laughs> well, no one said you're a bad person, but, you know, during a recession, who could afford to pay $34 fees for balanced checks? I have I have a hundred and something dollars in uh, overdraft fees. How are you going to make that up to him? Um, I well, I will pleasure him tonight for sure. That's <laughs> absolutely one thing. Uh, whenever I do something that I <laughs> I see. So he doesn't mind if I if I screw up too many times because he gets lucky. Oh, well, that much is good. But uh, more fighting because of the recession. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tracy. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great. Well, about four, almost four years ago, I bought a house that I really couldn't afford to make my... Uh, little lady happy and uh i'm just tired of dealing with it so we're getting divorced and we're going to foreclose on the house uh yeah wait a minute wait a minute you're not going to foreclose on the house the bank is going to foreclose on the house well i'm just going to stop paying yeah we're just going to stop paying we're you're going to stop paying now can you afford to pay or you're just not paying because here's your opportunity to get out of the marriage uh i can afford to stay there it's, it's it, I, I bought out of my out of my range a little bit thinking that you know maybe make some money on it. it's a nice house big house big yard and pool and stuff but i can afford to stay there but to work my butt off and then hear her mouth at the same time it's not it's not worth it wow so i'm gonna walk out probably with nothing um and messed up credit but i'll be free are you serious yep wow so i'm willing to take that stance just to get uh free you know freedom basically 
Free Look at that. Price. So are you essentially using the economic uh, times as an excuse to get out? Yeah. Which is okay yeah. with me. Yeah. I'm not criticizing you. Do what you got to do, but uh, just curious. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's it's uh, when you look at it, when you lay all the chips on the table, you know, it's it's we're paying for a house now that we are actually we owe more than it's worth now or right at that mark. I mean, it hasn't been appraised yet, but so do you stay with her another five or 10 years to make your money back or you just cut your losses now and just leave? You know, that's hardcore because we're not going to be able to sell it. We're not going to be able to sell and pay off our loan. Now that we're getting divorced, so they'll end up having just foreclosed. You could sell it and stay with her. Oh, no, no, no. That's not an option. Really? Not an option. Wow. All right, Anthony. Can, like, you, uh, can you take me out with a bong rip, Tom? Yes. Yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. How has the lousy economy affected your relationship or your marriage? It's Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Not much. Hey, how you doing today? That's the second question. Same concept. Yeah, you know. It's a time well, it's, filler. Yeah, well, you know, I, my old lady, man, she bounces check like kids bounce balls, man. I swear. I sat there and I cut up her card. I've cut up checks, you know, and I can't restrict from having cash flow. But at the same time, I've showed her. I've been married only four years now. But I've showed her I don't know how many times how to sit there and balance a checkbook. She thinks when she spends money that if she goes to the ATM machine, it's automatic. And I've tried to explain it to her, like, too many times. Really? Yeah. And uh, what, if she just refuses to uh, go along with the deal or what? I think maybe it's a thick candy shell. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> but I got it on a straight budget. But, man, I've hit, I've had some overdraft fees, especially with, like, rising gas costs. You know, she doesn't even pay attention. She just eh, fills it up, fills it up. Okay, it's full. Not even gets a receipt. Doesn't get a receipt or nothing. Wow. Man, let me tell you. Uh, we've had some nasty arguments, too. And she says, I'm leaving. I say, good. <laughs> But, you know, we love each other, but it's just, you know, in the heat of the moment. But, man, it, it's been vicious, Tom. See, I think somebody who can't be bothered to figure out how much money is in the checking account, they're sending you a big message, whether you want to receive the message or not. What's that? That they don't give a rat's ass. You know, I'd almost agree with you, except for, well, maybe they care just enough because it's putting food on the table. You know, free ride type thing. Because I work, my old lady doesn't because I make enough cash to where she doesn't have to, and I prefer her to watch my kids. You know, I want her at home with the kids. I don't want some, you know, weirdo or, like, yes, they told some lady to go to Craigslist or some guy. I can't do that. Outrageous. <laughs> All right, uh, Scott, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. Here's Pierce on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, love the show, man. Thank you, Pierce. Uh, yeah, things are really kind of sucking for us. I'm really, really lucky. I have a great wife. She's uh, she has a great job. She's a high school teacher. I'm an electrician, and uh, the economy's really hit me and all my electrician friends pretty hard because um, the real estate market's taking a downturn. So nobody wants to do any improvements or any work on their house. Uh, a lot of commercial work isn't out there because the economy's gone to crap. And uh, and we're feeling it. I'm making about a third of what I used to make. And um, luckily, my wife can carry the both of us. But now we have to, you know, tighten the belt a little bit and watch our finances. We can't take we can't take the vacations or buy the things that we wanted to buy or do the things that we wanted to do. And my wife, uh, she wanted to get pregnant and uh, be a stay at home mom this year. But now we're going to have to delay that, and she's going to have to keep working. And she's actually working, um, doing tutoring after school to make extra money to make up for what I can't bring home. So she's not she's not being a bitch about it and complaining all the time, but she's definitely stressed, and she definitely lets me know periodically. Uh, and it, it really, really sucks. It's, it's hard on the both of us. Oh, I understand. Now, do you think it's affecting your marriage uh, in such a way that it could threaten it? 
No, I think our marriage is strong enough that we'll be able to ride it out, and it'll it'll make our relationship stronger. Like I said, I'm really lucky. Uh, I got a great wife who kind of follows the the Lycus, uh way of thinking. You know, she's very realistic. She's not impulsive. She's pretty analytic because she's a science teacher. Uh, but um, it's definitely it's definitely put stress on on us personally, and it puts stress on our relationship. I'm sure we'll get through it just fine. But like I said, she we're not she's not going to be able to get pregnant. We're not going to be able to have kids until things until things change. Well, I uh, thank you very much for that, Pierce. I appreciate the call. Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Yo, amigo, come join the party of the year on Cinco de Mayo. Broadcast live from Camacho's in the city of industry. For details, go to blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Has the lousy economy affected your marriage? Has it affected your relationship? Have you broken up with somebody as a result? Are you being browbeaten or kicked around because of it? Do tell. 1-800-5800-866. Ozzy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Cool. Uh, well, I'm uh, 47, been married since I was 20. No Tom back then in 1980. But anyway, I've been seeing lawyers looking to get divorced all last year, dragging my feet. Now my house has no equity. Wait a minute. How old money. are you? How old are you? I'm 47. 47. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Spank me. I got married at 20, you know. <laughs> Ugh, God, Three kidding. kids. Last one turned 18. I thought I'm home free. You know, so I'm doing the lawyer, but dragging my feet and uh, watch my house equity disappear, disappear to now. There's nothing, you know, so I'm just going to ride it out till the economy gets better, I guess. <laughs> oh, my. And then <laughs> yeah, what happens when it gets better? Well, I don't know, man, because I've looked at the apartments that I can rent and my house payment is lower than the rent on the apartments. But there's no equity. I just got a low house payment, you know. And, and how bad is your wife? Do tell. Well, me and my buddy nicknamed her BAC for ball and chain. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she, she works. Hey, watch your mouth. We're on oh, the I'm air. Sorry. Yeah, I, I blew it. I'm sorry, Tom. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of like that. But it, it it's uh, like you always say, why divorces cost so much because they're worth it. But it ain't worth it yet. I, hit, I haven't hit rock bottom. Does she know you want out? Yeah, she's enjoying it. Because she's got me over uh, the table, you know. <laughs> she's spanking. Is she yeah. spanking you hard? Uh, no spanking. I'm just bent over. <laughs> mm, boy, that is painful. Oh, it's painful. Trust me, it's painful. But you know, it's my own fault for dragging my feet in the last year. If I would have got out while the market was still hot, I would have walked away with something and a little pride, maybe. Well, uh, she'd walk away with half of it, and so would you, whatever it was. Yeah, well, her half is way bigger than my half. By the way, oh, that not only is that true, but uh, may I tell you that because you've been married more than 10 years, you could end up paying her alimony forever. Right. Well, that's the picture. I told the lawyer, give me the ugliest picture and let me see if I can live with it. And I, I said, no, nah, I can't live with that. I'll, I'll, maybe she'll die first. <laughs> maybe you'll choke her first. No, I won't do anything. I'll let nature take its course. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you, Ozzy. This is Carol on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Hey, I have a question. You know, I've been listening to you, and I have a lot of admiration for you. I think you know. I think you're great. Interesting. Um, but and and your I, I guess your motto is you know teach guys get laid as much as you can and do nothing for the woman blah blah blah. What about the art of making love? Have you ever thought about that? The art of making love. Right. No. Uh, no. Not really. No. No. So you don't believe in making love? It's just screw you, screw me, and wham bam. See you later. Making love is just a euphemism for effing. Well, see, I, I beg to differ. 
Have you ever really made love, or have you just screwed people left and right? I F them hard and throw them away clean. Hmm. Okay. Um, Why do you have a problem with that? Why is that a problem for you? Well, I, you know, because I just, you know, I've been listening, and, and so many men are, oh, dad, this and dad, that. And, you know, I think you may be giving them a wrong message, perhaps, because you're telling them, take it for what it's worth, screw them, and don't give them anything. Don't pay more than 40 bucks and blah, blah, blah. Pay nothing if you can get away with it. That's what I'm telling them. Yeah, but what do you mean, get away with that? Okay, explain. Why should we give you money for sex? Well... No. Yes. Okay, but your demographics, okay, I, I've been listening, okay, the majority of our people calling in are like Hispanic 20 people, 20s. You got a problem with that? No, of course not. But my my concern, not a problem, and don't turn nasty on me. Oh, don't but, tell me how to do the show, dear. <laughs> my question to you is, Tom, why do you insist upon making it derogatory? Why can't they, like a guy, I think yesterday was calling, he was in love, the Army, Navy, I don't know what he was. But anyway, you know, and you just make it pure sex, sex, sex. Because that's what guys want. Well, of okay, Tom, you've been married four times, correct? Right. Okay. And you're 51. Yes. Okay. Glad to know you're such a regular listener. Uh, yes, I am. I, I Googled you. And and you're a regular listener. Yeah, I am. No, I am. True, I, I am. Because I find it fascinating. You, These guys are like latched onto you. Oh, Dad, they call you Dad. Clearly, there must be a reason. It must be that what I say is true. Well, I think, I think you know what? I have to be candid with you. I think a lot of the guys that call in you dad is because they don't have a dad. So they don't know. I don't care what the reason is. They don't know left from right. I um, really don't care what reason there is. Okay, but Tom, okay, don't give me crap, okay? Don't tell me how to do the show. Do you believe that people can be in love? And do you ever, ever um, accept that and, and encourage? I don't care what anyone does oh. other than me. I couldn't care less. But I will tell men that they are wasting their time and money being in love because eventually they're going to have to pay for it. Really? That's right. Isn't that a little bit skewed? It's, it's not skewed. It's a fact. Uh, okay. Because women like you call in and say things like you just said. Like, like I must hate women because I tell men not to spend more than $40 on a date. What does that have to do with anything? No. I, why I, should a man I, have I to spend Why them. should a man have to spend 10 cents to get into the sack with a woman? When you got when you were married, you were married four times, okay? How much did you spend on each and As little as possible. Oh, really? That's why I'm so rich today. Oh. Um. So you got out of four marriages. Getting... Without child support, without vagina money. Yes, I did. And, Tom, let me ask you this truly. Did it say in Wikipedia what the vagina money is, by the way, while you were Googling me? No. Okay. You know what it is, right? I don't know. Vagina money is a monthly payment you make uh, for past use of vagina. <laughs> you are comical, Tom. I find you quite fascinating, but let me tell you this. I think that, you know, I, I love what you do. I think you're great. Uh, you uh, you know, I listen to you all the time, but I think you should maybe, you know, these guys think of you as this massive icon. Why don't you tell them, you know, maybe once in a while you could be in love. And because I wouldn't be a massive icon if I lied. Tom, you've been married four times. Come on. Yes, and I, I learned from that. Please. I learned from that. And I've never been happier in my life. Wouldn't you? Okay, what what happens when you're 80, 90 years old, Tom? What do you mean, what happens? Where are you going to be? Who's going to love you? Who's going to wipe, take your... your, your the same people who love off. me. The same people who love me now. And by the way, how specious is that for somebody to uh, spend money on someone or pay attention to them so later you'll get free visiting nurse care? 
No, you're missing my point. Yeah, no, I got your point exactly. You're implying that if I don't spend money on women and get blow money, and blow smoke up money. their skirts, if I don't do that when I'm 80 money. or 90 years old and I need somebody to change my bedpan, who's going to do it? That's what you're saying. Tom, 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 please listen. You're not listening to me. I'm not talking about I dollars. heard what you said. You're fixated on dollars. I'm talking about send guys, young guys, these little neophytes, the right message. I'm you sending the right message. And, and stop and like stop falling in love like a puppy dog and start using oh. women like the human urinals they are. Okay, how long were your parents married? They were married until my father died, 40 years. Okay, fabulous. Wouldn't you love to see, uh, you know, L.A. kids do that? Well, again, if, if they could get married in 1955 like my parents did, uh, that would be wonderful. But they can't. It's the 21st century. We live in the era of YouTube and MySpace and Facebook and text messaging and cell phones What's and women phone? having 17 different email addresses so that they can communicate right. with guys behind your back. Uh, this is a a different world you today. To it's a different world today. Why? Okay, no. The difference, yes. I believe a big part is you are trying to skew their little brains. Oh, so it's I, it is I who am raising the divorce statistics. No. Single-handedly. No. Go rampant. You have to listen. Don't tell me to listen. You, you, let me tell you something. The reason I've got nothing but ex-wives now is because women like you were trying to tell me to listen to them. And I wouldn't listen to them any more than I'm going to listen to you. Tom, you listen. tell you When you tell me what to do, yeah. I tune right Happy, out. I tune right out. I'm sorry? Do you need me to say it a third time? No. I'm telling you, Tom, listen to me with some reasonable... Don't tell me how to listen. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you. I haven't you. told you what to do. You don't tell me what to do. Hey, I'm not telling you The what... word listen is a command. Tell Stop you, telling you me to listen. major influence on... Yes, I do, because I tell the truth and because my advice works. The reason I'm an icon is because when I give advice, it works. And then people call in and say, Dad, thank you. I did what you said. I dumped that bitch and I've never been happier. That is the reason I'm an icon. Can I can I tell you one thing? I've I've googled you, I've researched you, and sadly, the people that call you and say, "Dad, Dad, this," they're uneducated. Primarily, Wait, it said this in Google. Where where in Google did it say this? No, I read all of. I I read your website. I listen. I read a litany of people that email you on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Thanks for that. But their vast majority, and you can't argue this. The vast. I can argue whatever I want. The people that Google or not Google rather, but um, on your uh, get to the point website, whatever it is. Anyway, they are not educated. They're Hispanics, and they are they're not. Uh, so I know where this is going. You are a racist, oh, and uh, oh, you probably oh, drove into a, a May 1st demonstration, and now you want to call and talk about the uneducated oh, Hispanics. Now I see it. where you're going. No, 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 no. But why do you call it? Why does the, why does the fact that 40% of our audience is Hispanic have anything to do with anything? No, I'm telling you. Because you're I'm, a racist and you're saying it's no surprise because you're a bunch of Hispanic, a bunch of beaners, a bunch of wetbacks, calling. Yeah, go no, ahead, say it. Tom, please, you're, you're going to say it. Don't spin it. Let me tell you something. Don't hang up on me. Be a racist. Don't tell me not to hang up on you. If I want to hang up on you, I'll hang up on you. I don't think you should. I'll though. do whatever the hell. I don't care what you think I should do. Tom, Couldn't I'm care less. I'm not married to you and I don't have to listen to you. I, you have a good message. Thank you. And, and I, I intend to continue spreading the message. Guys, don't get married. Don't spend money on women. No, no, Use no, them as human you're, toilets. You're taking, you're taking, you're ballooning it out. No, no, no. What I'm not ballooning you, anything out. That's what I say every day, and I'm going to keep Tom, saying it. Tom, I think that you could just add a little bit more. I don't need... Are you a programming expert? Are you in the radio business? Do you have a degree in communications? Uh, how do you know what I should do on the air? I'm not telling you what you should do. You're telling me what I should do. You're telling me I should do this. I should add this. Uh, don't tell me what I should add. I have the number one show. You know, I, I got all the way to the top. I got all the way to the top without any advice from you. But what I'm telling you, Tom, and it's just one little person telling you my advice, and that's is why would I want to take advice from you? You people, I don't need it. I knew. I, I, how did I become number one without your advice? Okay. How much more number one can I be? I'm telling you. Can I be number one plus one A A A? 
Your your ratings could be so much superior. Really? Than, so you are a broadcast yeah. consultant, are you? Okay, fine. I'm telling you, you could do so much better. Oh, yes, yes, darling. I'm sure you know about how much better I could do. The Tom Likas Show.